Okay, end time. I'm back. A few scriptures here, and I'll try to close this out and get out of y'all's uh, way for a while because I got some stuff I got to do too. But watch this real quick, please. Revelation 6 it says, I looked and behold, a white horse he who sat on him had a bow and a crown was given to him, and he went out conquering and to conquer. Okay? Second seal. When he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature saying, Come and see another horse, fiery red. When out was granted, what? To do what? To take peace from the earth that people should kill one another. And there was given a great sword that people should kill one another. Okay? Third seal, scarcity on the earth. When he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come and see. So I looked, behold, a black horse. He who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, What? A loaf of wheat bread and barley for a day's wage? And do not harm the oil and the wine? Oh, I shouldn't play this, but I'm going to. I said I'm going to get to get out of y'all's way. Maybe I'll just do another. I'll let that go and I'll do Maybe I'll just do a whole thing on that. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just do that right now. And try to compress it. Look at wheat bread and barter for a day's wage and don't touch the oil and the wine. Well, the oil and the wine could uh, represent, I said could, could represent a lot of different things. Do not hurt the oil of the wine. Now, the oil and the wine in the Old Testament and all represented, uh, uh, well, just think about a day for a minute. The rich folks wouldn't be affected like common folks like us would when it all started beginning to trickle down. Okay? That the elitist would not be affected by it. Or, could mean do not hurt the oil and the wine. Do you remember the bees started disappearing? Man, I know I shouldn't have never said this. But do you know that bees pollinate uh, tons of different fruits and all, and vegetables and all? The pollination. And without the bees, the stuff won't grow. But do you know this? That an olive tree don't require the pollination of bees, nor does the grapevine, it gets crosswind pollination. Don't know. I know nobody's talking about the bees that are disappearing and dying out, but uh, I, I said I wasn't going to get into this. God have mercy. Let me just give you something to chew on. How about that? You think about that. Don't hurt the oil of the wine. And there's probably a broad, broad, broad spectrum there that God's talking about because His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So let me move on before I get off on that rabbit trail. I'll, I'll just try to do something later on that. When he opened the third seal, he said, What? A loaf of wheat bread and barley for a day's wage. You're going to need a five-gallon a five bucket of money to go buy a, a, a loaf of bread and a gallon of milk before it wraps up, brother. It's just, it's just the way it is. You may hear a little noise. I got the window cracked. It's getting warm in here in this computer room. I got the window cracked. Let some fresh air in here, some cool air. He opened the fourth seal, heard the voice of the fourth living creature saying, Come and see. Behold, a pale horse. The name of him who sat on it was Death, and hell followed him. And power was given of a fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword, to kill with hunger, with famine, and the beast of the earth. Oh my gosh. Now, you may think this is a fairy tale book, but I don't. This is why I do what I do. We got a helicopter right there, but when he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. Fifth seal. A lot of people's gonna die because they believe in God. A lot of people.
Let me just read it on. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, until you judge and avenge our blood on those that dwell on the earth? White robes were given to them and told them to rest a little while longer. Until what? Until what? Until the number of their fellow servants and their brethren who would be killed as they were was completed. Six seal. I looked when he opened the sixth seal. Behold, there was a great earthquake. Sun became a sack of the hair. Moon became light blood. The stars of heaven began to fall. The sky receded like a scroll when it's rolled up. The sky, let me let me tell you something. Listen to end time for a minute. Look it up for yourself. Go look up a major nuclear critical incident that just took place and see what it does to the atmosphere. It rolls it back. I ain't trying to be funny. I ain't trying to make up nothing. But go look it up and see what happens. And the sky rolled up like a scroll. Okay, the scroll's open. Old Testament, they put it on parchment, okay? Okay, and they had a, a stick on one end or, or both ends. And it and it, they opened it up and they read of it and they rolled it back up. Now watch. The sky's here. The sky's rolled away, back away. Boom. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you that this is what I base what I believe is taking place and I and I try to tie this puzzle together with the word of God. Okay? Look, I'm still grinning like a jackass eating briars, baby, because I, I done read the end of the book and I know I win and so do you. If you belong to Jesus. Don't mean that yeah, I just got through reading to you about a number of people to be killed. And it just gets deeper and deeper and deeper the further we get. Okay, of what takes place. So I'm not trying to scare you. I'm not trying to get you to dig in a hole and stay there until whatever happens happens. But I am trying to tell you that these things are real, and I believe them, based on the Word of God. Okay? Oh, boy. But listen to this. It says, The kings of the earth, the great men, the rich men, commanders, mighty men, every slave free man, hid themselves in the caves and the rocks, and said, Fall on us and hide us from the wrath of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of his wrath has come. Who shall be able to stand? Now, I could get into the trumpets and all. I'm not going to do that right now. I'll come back with that. Maybe tonight. I don't know. Right now, I'm about to run out of time, and I got to, I got to roll. I got some stuff I got to do. But I've given you scriptures of encouragement. I've given you a debriefing on what I believe is the chatter is based on what I've got, and I didn't get this out of no, no storybook, okay? This is real-time stuff. And I've given you a few scriptures to show you about the death, mourning, famine, plagues, and about the nuclear war and all these things. I'm talking globally for a minute, not just America, that are coming upon the earth. And men's heart will be failing them looking after those things that come upon the earth. But your heart don't have to fail you. If you'll get that inner peace, that can only come from God Almighty. It's end time. Fasten your seatbelts because it's going to be a rough ride from here on out. But be encouraged. Be encouraged. And take heart and don't lose faith. I'll see you.